I'm aware of the need for a persona. And my actual persona, I'm not really prepared to give. George Michael has narrated a new documentary, working on it right up until he died, taking fans into his very public life. Did he enjoy the fame? Funny enough, just before he passed away, he was at my house and, and I'd never asked him before, but I said, so did you enjoy being famous? And he said, I did. I'm so pleased that he told me that because I feel like he did what he was supposed to do. Everything he touched musically turned to gold, the ultimate industry icon. But to his friends, he was much more. For me, it was like brother and sister. It's like having the best friend, someone I could confide in. So, yeah, just being that close to someone is so special. Shirley knew George from school, and they later sang side by side. George went on to sell more than 100 million records worldwide. So you've got somewhere to go in the road that I What do you feel when you listen to him <laughs> sing now? It's really overwhelming to especially see it on a big screen as well. Um, and as I say, when I look at that, I see George Michael. That's, and I see this person who was so gifted. I mean, that voice, yeah, does reduce you to tears. It's the most beautiful, angelic voice. He was probably one of the most talented people that I've ever met. And he was one of those, you know, he could have sung the alphabet and it would sound superb. Despite huge success, he found himself in trouble with the law on a number of occasions, something tough to watch for those close to him. It was quite hard to watch him feel a victim of it. You know, sometimes he would talk to me about it and say, sometimes I feel like they're out to get me. Freedom. The film is finally being released, nearly six years after George's death. I, I think the timing's right as well, you know, because it's given, it's removed everybody from the chaos that was around George's life at the very end. And now we're looking back on it with absolute, the loveliest memories that we can have. But really, it's just the songs, and I hope that people think of me as someone who had some kind of integrity. And I hope I'm remembered for that in a way. Very unlikely. Things all been a waste of time. <laughs> There's something about that smile. You know, it just had so much charisma in his smile, and he still had that. His eyes would twinkle. Mm. So yeah, that's the thing I miss most, his smile. If you could say one thing to him, what would it be? I love you. <laughs> Don't let me cry again. <laughs> mm. His talent was undeniable, although Martin did doubt it at one point. Wake me up before you go, go. He said to me, come inside, I want to show you a new song that I've got. So we go upstairs to his bedroom and on the tape recorder, he plays Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go, right? And so I say all the nice things about, yeah, that's a great song, it's going to do really well. I go back downstairs to Shirley, who's waiting in the car for me, and, she, and I say to her, Shirl, your career's over, it's rubbish. It's not going to do anything. But his career was far from over. In fact, it was just getting started. Creating a legacy relived in a film being called George's final work. Rishi Davda, ITV News.